Happy Wednesday morning, everyone. You know what today is? Today is food prep for Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow day. Um, which that means that it's 6.30 in the morning. Did I say that? See, it's too early. Uh, anyway, it's 6.30 in the morning. And Ryan and I are getting ready to go out and start 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 the turkeys smoking. I cannot talk today. Um, if you watched our grocery haul video, you'll see that... Um, I had mentioned that normally he's the one that does all the smoking. That is not what I do. He does all the grilling and he does all the smoking. Um, but he can't get off work today. Obviously, he's covered up. And so it's all on me. So he is going to start them. And then I have to do a few things throughout the day. Mainly check on the temperature. But I do have to flip the turkeys. And we'll get into that, all that later. But... Um, so we're getting ready to go do that. Also, before I get off of here, um, I am going to put a video up of um, and show you guys how we did the brine last night. Um, we use the same recipe every year. Uh, we did veer off and use a different recipe for one of the turkeys. So we're just curious to see how that's going to turn out. Only because my pot was full. And you'll see that I think I showed it full. But anyway, the pot was full and I could only get three turkeys in there. We do four total. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you that video, and then he's rushing me, so we've got to get out the door to get this started. the turkeys i told you guys it was really easy um i mix the brines up while ryan spatchcocks and does all that i get the easy job he gets to mess with the turkeys and freeze his hands off um but anyway the recipe is not my recipe that i use it's actually out of a cookbook um bucks and hall barbecue a smoke book and we've had that for about four years as long as we've smoked turkeys and I uh, love the cookbook. Mine's looking kind of raggedy because it is absolutely pulled all the time when we do butts or anything. I mean, I use a lot of the recipes in there. They're just fantastic. So I will put a link down below if you guys want to check out that book. And now that I've said all that, let's go back to smoking some turkeys. Okay, so this year we decided to also inject the turkeys. We've never done this before, so we're hoping it doesn't dry them out. Normally we just uh, brush them with some hog sauce. Um, so now they're going into the smoker. He's almost done. Just hope I don't mess it all up once he finishes everything. Okay, so... Ryan left for work a little while ago. I am sitting outside. It's a little chilly, but I am not complaining. It is gorgeous today. The sunshine is beautiful. There's blue sky. You can see it behind me. Um, it's nice. It is warmer this morning right now than what it's been all day the past couple of days. So I am welcoming this warmth, especially with me out here doing this. Um, so I'm just waiting, like I said, for this to come to temp. And when this comes to temp, if it comes okay, then I've got to run in and do a few things. But let me first off tell you just how sweet he is. So usually when Ryan smokes, and I think I mentioned this before, he smokes up at his garage. Well, when he's smoking, I mean, we know it's an all-day thing. He's going to relieve me when he gets home. But regardless, so when he's smoking up at his garage, he does work up there. So, you know, he can break and get some work done and, and watch that at the same time, which works out great for him to get caught up on a few things. However, it's a pretty good little trek from his garage to the house. And so for me to try to run back and forth all day, it was going to be a hassle, but you know, it is what it is. And if, you know, you, you do what you have to do. So anyway, last night he got to thinking and he decided to make it easier on me that he would pull the uh, smoker uh, down under our pergola, which is right beside the house. So he did that. So now once everything gets like it should be and hopefully it does correctly because I don't know what I'm doing um then I can run in and out of the house and I can get stuff started and then I can run back out here because it is very important that I get at least some food prep done today because um our family decided to eat at one so 
tomorrow and the rolls themselves take four hours on top of everything else so I don't have time to do it all tomorrow so I absolutely have to get it done today that's why when we host I always make sure it's a dinner just because it works for us but regardless I'm not hosting I'm just bringing the food so <laughs> they say well we'll be survive the morning I started some chicken and now I'm getting ready to um open this smoker and we're going to be flipping the uh, turkeys over. So looking good. So what we do is now that we've taken it out, I turn it upside down and then we're going to get the hawk sauce that I was talking about earlier and I put it here in a little bowl. And we are going to take that and we're going to put it, and I will have to put the phone down to show you to do it more, but we just do it here and then we make it puddle up in here in the turkey and then we put it back in the smoker um, with this part staying up. Well, that was hard. Not going to lie. I had one that fell apart a little bit um, and then I was like, oh no, it fell apart, it fell apart. Anyway, I got it put together. <laughs> it was ours, so it wasn't one that we were fixing for somebody else. It was ours, so thank the goodness it was ours. And to lift it up out of the smoker and put it in the pan so that I could uh, flip it. And it was awkward. I had his gloves on that he uses. Uh, and I just, they're, they're so big and they don't have any movement. And I just couldn't do it. So I did, did I say, did I tell you that I ripped it apart? I may have. I don't know. I'm just all beside myself. Anyway, so it was ours. I think I already said that. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, it was ours. So it wasn't what we were fixing for anybody else which is a good thing but anyway i got them all done that was the only one that fell apart the other ones i said heck with the gloves my hands are it didn't bother my hands so i just pulled them out with my hands and flipped it as i pulled it out because i couldn't do that with the gloves so as i was trying to get it out with the gloves i wasn't able to get down in there good enough to flip it so i say goodbye to the gloves and just use my hand be time right fix this stop i don't want to be part of your shenanigans they found someone who gives them a snack. Some tasty sunflower. Hero is here <laughs> to see what my problems were. I have a lot of problems. Is that thing still in? Yeah, stick it in there. This one that fell apart? Yes, he did. Oh, it fell back over. He was holding snacks from you. It's not snacks, guys. So I haven't killed them all. That's good. What you looking for, Daisy? <laughs> it's so weird. My broken one. I tried. It looks beautiful. <clears throat> hey Luke, how is it? I slaved all day over that. Tastes like turkey. It tastes like delicious turkey. It tastes like delicious turkey. It tastes like delicious turkey. Okay, I guess that'll do. Hey, Davis, it's your turn. Tastes like amazing turkey. Tastes like possum? Raccoon. Is that the best yep. smoked turkey you ever had? Mm -hmm. It doesn't beat Daddy's, though, does it? Daddy's is the best. Daddy's is the best. Am I supposed to say this? Yes, Daddy's is better than Mommy's. Better than none, so better than nothing. <laughs> Would you like to also tell everyone what else you like? Pizza. The possum <laughs> that's outside. His name is pizza. You know, the book. The possum coming knocking at the door at the door. The possum coming knocking at the door. So, <coughs> we did these turkeys three different ways. Okay? Mm -hmm. So... 
Nope. That's one. Mm -hmm. We'll still call it Big Bertha. Mm -hmm. Here is Turkey Smalls. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, Davis? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Alton. So, <laughs> if you could taste it and see which one is your favorite. Taste each of them. Taste, yeah, taste. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let Luke's hanging it out of his mouth here. Let, which one did you get first? You need uh, to probably start with the first one. You need to start with Big Bertha. Okay. Okay. Now, Turkey Smalls. <coughs> turkey Smalls is next. <coughs> Turkey Smalls honey tasted drier. Mm. Well, Turkey Smalls may have been small. Okay, now I taste Alton. These two taste the same. The first one. You like Big Bertha? That's the way we always make it. I like it best. Yeah. This one we injected. That we injected this one. Turkey Smalls was injected. And the Alton was with a different recipe. Alton Brown's recipe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Alton Brown's recipe. How Maybe I should have named the other I couldn't have named the other one though. Um what's his name that has Buxton? What's his name? Um I can't think. I was talking to Daddy Beating on me. Um Elliot. I couldn't name it Elliot because you probably would have guessed it. I'll tell you this. I never all the brownies. Yeah. What's your favorite? Mm. The middle one, now I had it again, tastes a lot better. You like the middle one better? Which one do you like? The first one. Do you like Big Bertha too? She is a pretty cool lady. There we have it. The original recipe that we always do with the brining one. Luke, though, Luke, he liked the um, the middle one the best. And it was done, it was brined the same. The only difference was uh, we injected it. So that was the only difference in that one. So I guess from now on, I'll stick to what we know and what we love with the addition of maybe injecting it some for Luke. Turkey smells. <laughs> Turkey smalls it.